What the hell? Uh, that got, uh, hmm, okay. We are back in Forza Horizon 4, and this week we got another new car. Last week I didn't do an episode was because we had no new cars to unlock, so there's that. So this week it's winter, and this week we are unlocking the GMC Typhoon. From what I believe, the GMC Typhoon is basically the Cyclone, but as an SUV. That is it. Okay, to unlock this car, all you need to do is get this to 50%. What do I mean by this? Get this festival playlist, well, this week's festival playlist, to 50% completion. And this should be put into your garage automatically. If you don't get it in your garage, check if you have it on 49 or something, I don't know. Um, also check if your garage is full, that's a possibility, so yeah. But, yep, once you complete 50%, it's added to your garage. Okay, so I'm just gonna go do these PR stunts and then we'll have our car pretty quickly. Um, I'm gonna need faster cars though because I'm driving the Ranger Raptor and it's a slow, slow car. Conveniently, when I completed my last event, it put me next to the castle. So, I can enter. I could have obviously just gone to the cars tab and picked from there and then it would have just immediately given me that. But you know, I own a castle. Might as well use it. Okay, class. I'm gonna pick the fast classes. So, I, I have a habit of using that. So, let's choose something different. Do I even have like an S2 class? Um, off-road vehicle? Hmm. Thought I had at least one that was up here. Except for that one. I'll just use this. Actually, isn't this faster technically? Which is really weird. My S2 one is faster than the X-Class one. Oh, but it sounds like ass. Okay. That's why I don't use it. Okay, so we are at the jump. Turn sharp we just left. need to do the jump. Two hundred meters. Um, turn right. Thank you for letting me land gravity. Okay, let's go back up part of this mountain again. We'll do a 180 and then go full speed ahead. Bumpy road and everything. Seems like a lot of people who are trying this have left already. Which is neat. That means less ghosty cars in the way. I don't think I did it. No, I did it! Okay. Now, that was really easy. Uh, okay, let's pop in a festival playlist, and we should be able to... Yeah, um, I might as well do both of these, so I'll just follow the road and get them done. So, let's... Was this a speed zone? Okay, I will fast travel there into a nice little farm area. Okay, and not through the gate, with the fence. Just maximum speed. Through the gap, because that's cool. Ah, hit the fence post on that one. I wasn't fast enough. No! Did I edit in like the Darth Vader saying no meme? Well, clip, not meme. <laughs> it's not even a meme, it's a clip that people use as a meme, I guess. Okay, I have to get at least 230 kilometers per hour on the speed, speed track, so I just have to go fast. There we go! Hello! I hit some rocks. And guess what? We have the Typhoon. Is it Typhoon? Yeah, we have the GMC Typhoon. Here we go. This is a speedy boy as well. A little bit heavy. But let's 
fast travel to the castle. That's not a castle. You know what? Let's use this place actually. Looks nice. I, I get a feeling that uh, playground games increase the maximum cars we can have in the garage. Because I used to keep hitting the garage's full limit constantly and then suddenly it just... I don't have that limit anymore. Like, I only sold four cars last time and I've unlocked way more than that. What do we got here? Okay, I've... When you own every car and backstage pass is completely useless to you. <laughs> oh god. Okay, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. GMC Typhoon. Okay. So, the reason I decided to do this house and not the castle, compared, unlike, like, I usually go to the castle to show off these cars, is because I wanted to drive there and it'll give me a chance to actually test out top speed. So, yeah. I, I think from now on I'll teleport, I'll fast travel here and drive to the castle to show off top speed of this car. And this thing is fast. Look at the speed we're going! 150! 160! Look at that! It's rapid! My god, this is face tearing speed. God! <laughs> This is not fast at all. I, I, yeah. Uh, okay, we're gonna need to upgrade this thing. Definitely need some upgrades. This has four gears, and we just made it to 200. Okay, let's te let's test handling now with our little track. Okay, it's heavy, and I didn't hold the brakes long enough. So, the biggest improvement would be to make this lighter and obviously add lots of power and grip because you're gonna need grip for all that power. But this thing is really slow. I think it was supposed to be like the GMC Typhoon is basically a cyclone but as an SUV. Like, you can tell when you look at it from the side. Like, if you just chop off this back, it's a cyclone. Hey, I finally did that corner right, instead of flying through the fence. But this is designed to be more off-road, isn't it? So I might build this for off-road instead of, like, standard road racing. Cause it's got the squishy uh, suspension. I missed. I have missed. Okay. Still let me. It still let me! Look at me, I vented. And I hit something on the way in. Okay, time for some customization. Actually, I wanna look at the uh, paints and stuff. What can I do here? Find new designs. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Cool. What is this supposed to be based off? It does look familiar. Hmm. Okay, let's let's see what we got with um, paints. Advanced two paint groups. Okay, so we got the top, and if we do this, we got the bottom. So, if you wanted to do say, uh, wait for it. No. Oh, okay. Doesn't have wrap around. If you wanted to do a Rimmy Tim van, here you go. Purple and orange. <laughs> I'm tempted to make this Rimmy Tim, but I'm not. Gotta, gotta, gotta make a good looking car. Actually, I'll use the manufacturer. Ooh, what the hell? Just full purple? I'm gonna make this blue. I like this blue, yes. Here we go. If I made this Rumi Tim, like, no one would have clicked on the thumbnail. Because that's what I'd use as a thumbnail. Okay, so we got that. What we got for, like, wrong one. 
What we got for like upgrades now? Custom upgrade. Okay, engine swaps. We can put a 6.2 liter V8. We can put a 4. Point, I mean, a 8.4 liter V10, a 6.5 liter V12, and a 7.2 liter racing V8. Hmm. I don't know. I'll put that on. And we should be all-wheel drive, yeah. Mm. I'll put supercharger in. Can put that on. And one of those. It doesn't look good. Okay, so we're gonna build this for rally. So... We're gonna have sick boys in the front and back. We're gonna switch these for something that I like to constantly use. These wheels. They... They look like they are manufacturer wheels, but they're not. And they just fit really well with it. Like, old ca older cars. So we'll do that. Um, yep. Okay. Oop. Got good braking. And... Rally suspension. Do that. Do that. And boosh. Look at that. This would be great across country. Okay, just... Minor upgrades now. Dude. Fuel system. Okay, I might need to downgrade something. Okay, and maybe better ignition? No. Okay, what the hell? Displacement? I, I need one. One. Give me one point, please. Okay. Oh. Oh, hasn't changed the ignition. There we go. There we go. We got it. Okay, I forgot to press the right buttons. Here we go. So, our torque is really good. It's, what, what do we got? We got 1,165 newton meters of torque and 856 kilowatts of horsepower. Well, power, actually. I actually don't know what the conversions are to horsepower because this is the only thing I don't like about the metric system because I don't understand it yet. I mean, I love the metric system, but I'm still... Growing up, everyone kept using horsepowers instead of kilowatts, so... You're, like, you're an Australian and you know... All the metric stuff, but then when it comes to cars, you have to use horsepowers. And then it gets confusing when, when you have, um, when you have, uh... The game set to metric and it's everything's metric. And you can't switch it to horsepowers. Okay, let's try it. Ooh, I should real quickly tune this car because I bet the gears are going to be terrible. Yep, there it is. Bad gearing. Can't get its max once you... There we go. Slightly quicker. And apparently we failed a brake test. Mm. That's interesting. And we'll drop this down to 13%. Mm. Yeah, that seems to be good. Okay, we'll take this on a cross-country racetrack, and I will find one. What, what are these numbers? Oh, okay. What's a fun race? That's a pretty good one. We drive through a bit of water. Uh, we need more cross-country tracks, honestly. No, I don't want to do buggies. There we go, we'll do American All-Stars. This is the most basic looking car. Like realistically, what we put on here wouldn't exactly work for cross country. You would have to put like way tougher things on it. Like what's, look at the terrain we're about to go through. Not even these Fiestas should be here. I hope Playground Games really fixes the um, car choices in the next game at least. If they can't do it here, Hopefully the next game has better algorithm of picking cars. Because I didn't even pick anything goes. I picked American All-Stars and it still gave us Fiestas. Basically the starter cars. Get 
out of the way! This would have ridden off our, ridden off our car if we were going at that speed and hit that dumb hill. Ooh, slow the heck down. I really hate this corner because you will always slide out. Yeah, and, and if you try to like control it, you just end up going too slow around the corner then. What? Oh. <laughs> I didn't see that. Whee! Land. Look at the speed we got. This is so much nicer to drive. Once you like really upgrade this car. I do wish we could hear the whine we get from superchargers. That'd be nice. This car drives really good though. Like even though the handling says it's not gonna be good, it does good on cross country. If you wanna copy like the parts I chose and the tune I put onto it, the tuning, the gearing and stuff, and take this onto an, like an online adventure, I think you'd do pretty well. The car's pretty fast as well. Like, top speed wise, like, not just saying it's just fast. It is quick. Yes, but the top speed's quite high for an off road vehicle. So, yeah, this is the GMC Typhoon. Basically, a cyclone with a thing on the back and a bit heavier. Once you upgrade it, it is so much nicer to drive. So yeah, this is the end of the episode. I do these weekly. Well, I, I can't actually say weekly. It, it, it's usually weekly. It's, it's actually just whenever Forza releases a new car to unlock on the special playlist. Then I'll do a video. If it's a new car. I won't do, like, every car on the playlist because I do feel like I don't need to do that. It just feels like a bit of a waste of time. Like, I've already covered the car before because there's a lot of repeat cars. But if it's a new car, I will cover it. So it's usually mostly weekly. I think we got the Velociraptor next week, so I'll be unlocking that. So if you want to follow these videos, subscribe. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, then hit the dislike button. It, it helps me figure out if I'm doing bad or good. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video, which is probably going to be the Velociraptor. The Velociraptor 6x6, I think it's called. Let's have a quick look before I end this. And there's a number one somewhere in the thing. Okay, uh, where's the Velociraptor? The Velociraptor is going to be a championship. And I can't check what you need to do. Okay, Velociraptor 19. So, the Velociraptor is actually just a um, Ford Raptor with six wheels. And a better engine. That, that's it. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I think the girls with their nails done now.